Well, a fantastic Friday. We did have uh, only one news event at nine o'clock today. The markets were still moving pretty well, um, a couple hundred points. I was able to call it an early morning and an early day, which is always a great thing. Up $7,740 across my 20 Apex funded accounts. Um, if you want to get started with those, I trade the 50K. And you can use code TBM for 80% off on any of the account sizes. And last reminder is that, of course, these uh, videos happen live on my live stream on my main channel, Trades by Matt. So come hang out every morning at Market Open. But let's go ahead and dive into the trades and the conversations from today. Yo, good morning. Welcome. Happy Friday. Hopefully you're uh, having a good day so far. Hopefully yesterday was good for you. And uh, hopefully you're freaking pumped because it's Friday and we got the weekend in front of us. One weekend closer to Vegas. Yep. In fact, in honor of Vegas, I wore my Vegas shirt today. Saw it hanging up in the closet and was like, it just feels right. We sold out of Vegas twice now and it just feels right to wear it. <laughs> News wise today, we got a uh, nine o'clock. Michigan sentiment. Other than that, it looks like that's about it. Uh, unless you trade crude oil, in which case you got a noon rig count. Daily on the NAS looks like this. We popped the prior uh, little high, huh? Almost hanging out at it. Like 270 or so. Interesting. Getting above the volume. Get above 300. It looks better. Friday uppies are a thing though, for sure. So we'll see what nine o'clock brings. Honestly, that'll probably be the, uh, the tell overnight looks a little boring. Whenever I come in and my charts are, uh, my charts are auto scaled. Whenever I first log in, I don't have it at 10 point increments. Whenever I come in and it's at like four points on a five minute chart, that is never a good sign, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Borderline of VWAP open. Not quite opening up above yesterday's value very high. That's good. A VWAP open is not good. That's usually a chop. It's like an immediate sign of chop. Opening up above yesterday's value area high is solid for ups, especially if we can get above the overnight highs at 300. If we can get above 300 and Delta's looking good, I think we just pump for a while. Um, getting back below VWAP and back below 230, 220s realistically, overnight lows. Uh, I'm looking for a 180 rotation and then lower. And we got yesterday's close right at the overnight lows as well. So it's yesterday's close, yesterday's point of control, and the overnight lows all at like 215. That's a big level. Um, yesterday's IBH. So all of that, 200 to 215 seems very solid. We crack 180 to the downside. It looks very heavy. But very interesting stuff over here. Arguably a magnet if we want to have a 50-point move. So we'll see. Um... I say all these things because I just like to have a bunch of if thens, right? If we crack yesterday's value very high, then I think we rotate to the yesterday's pointing control overnight lows, yesterday's close. If we crack that, then I think we rotate to 180s. If we pump and hold VWAP, and if we pump above 300 and the overnight highs, then I think we just go up. <laughs> Those are my like two game plans. If we have a VWAP open, I'm expecting chop. We have a, uh, at least for a little bit, because we do have news at nine o'clock. And it should give us a little bit of movement. News will give us a little bit of new movement. Uh, I also got a dad joke for you on this beautiful Friday. There's a sweep of the overnight highs. May 10th, dad joke. Friday, May 10th. What's the most patriotic sport? Flag football. Flag football. How do you deal with the days where you wait all day for a trade setup and lose on the trade? I mean, it sounds like you knew what you wanted to see. Is that not encouraging? I mean, at the end of the day, guys, not every trade setup that you wait for is going to be a money trade. Not every trade you take is going to be a money trade. It's literally inevitable that it will not be like you will not have exclusively winners. You could wait all day and still not have exclusively winners. Sometimes the market just does different things than we think it's going to do. If you waited all day long for your setup, give yourself a pat on the back for being patient and not taking crap that you didn't want to take. You finally, you saw something that you wanted to take, you took it and it just didn't work. Move on. All right, I'm uh, green lighted to trade over 15 minutes in. So I'll start looking for stuff. We do have news in 15 minutes though, so I'm not gonna force anything. Got volume here, magical 20s, point of control. Seems like we got fairly even books. Uh, we got 10 minutes till news. We got some juice here back into volume in the 20s. So you wanna be cognizant of that? 
that being said, uh, per the game plan this morning when I logged in, <clears throat> I said if we get above the overnight highs and 20s and Delta was looking good, I'm just expecting the clean push up. And that's basically what's happening so far. Delta looks pretty solid. We've been rejecting the plus two standard deviation, hugging around the one and a half. Maybe we do the same thing. Maybe we close out here, come back and retest 30. 25 to 30 could be kind of interesting. Also on the wick, right? Something like that could be kind of interesting on a little 10 point pullback. It's a little aggressive um, coming into some of this liquidity and stuff, but feel comfortable with it. Copy trading is on. I got 20 accounts going, one contract per account. Got pretty close there. Let me just take a guess and say two points. Oh, less than that this time. One, one and a quarter. Feels like every time I'm two points off. This time they ran it a point and a quarter in front of me. I think I'm still interested in this if it comes back into it. All right, I'm long one across the board, all 20 accounts. Not getting a ton of signs of life here from Delta yet. We got juice into the 20s. fine where it's at right now i want us to push from here though coming into 25 melting 25 pointing control not super super interested in what happened to my music Seven points down, five points down. Traded the middle, magical 20s, pointing control. Taking that order off just so I can see the market cleanly without feeling like I need to hit that. It's a decent sweep and a point of control. Uh, off the 22 range. Makes sense with how we've been channeling so far. Got a little bit of buyers maybe trying to step up right now. Needs to do more. News in seven minutes, six and a half minutes. One minute left on this candle. Potentially going in to sweep the lows, trying to. Watching the one minute structure here. Failed to break the prior low.
a little bit of buyers trying to come through retrading the one and a half from underneath this time one minute looks like it's trying to curl a little bit nice hammer on the one minute as well we'll see if we get it or not though <clears throat> down what five points right now three points i'll be killing this trade before nine o'clock no matter what blue line algo huh blue line algo the strongest resistance of all time will always be where you got in <laughs> if it's underneath <laughs> Completely uninterested if we retrade the lows, by the way. Completely uninterested. That's where I have my... That's where I will be getting out at. Um, if not earlier. Like, I want to see us push this. This looks fine for a push, but we need to kind of do it now. I'm just gonna go and take it off move on with this trade i was in the, out of the money way too long any sign of life there i'm just gonna go ahead and take it we're too close to news for me to really try and like be milking another three points out of it or whatever it was um the trade what went what seven points against me something like that eight points maybe 32 wicked at 10 points um Wicked at 10 points. That was very fast, though. Ate it back up. Coming back in, this was like 8 points. Getting back out there, prior low break, that's just disgusting. So you have to get out there. Um, but we held it. And then you get the, like, the rounding bottom. But we have news in 2 minutes, 3 minutes. I, I would not be shocked to see us pop this. At least go retrade the prior high. Or excuse me, prior open. Um, but if I'm out of it, like if I'm not in, like... I wasn't terribly not in the money. Again, it was like a quick wick 10 points, but most of it was like five to six points out of the money. Almost the entire trade. If I get back to break even or like quick signs of life, I'm gonna take it off, which is exactly what happened here. Like this looked teed up for a push and then we pushed. I think it pushed like right as I said, this looks like it should push right now. Uh, and then we pushed there. I'm not gonna be greedy and not just take that off. We got news and uh, news in 40 seconds, FYI very happy i took the trade off oh my gosh i like almost didn't have any other time to take it off we pumped i killed it and then we immediately flushed very happy i did not have a case of the greeds hey should i go ahead and read uh should i read this weekend's dad joke the dad joke for saturday and sunday should i wait till monday or should i read it right now austin that's pretty funny not gonna lie that's pretty funny let's hear it read it now okay here we go you ready Saturday 11th and Sunday the 12th <clears throat> this weekend. A ship carrying red paint collided with a ship carrying blue paint. Oh shit. Words are hard. <clears throat> a ship carrying red paint has collided with a ship carrying blue paint. Both crews are said to be marooned. Damn, I wish I didn't fumble it. That's honestly, I read that and it made me laugh and I fumbled it pretty bad. So I apologies on the uh tongue twister i like that one though we're in the 40s i'm actually somewhat interested in this area so like 48 interested in 53 also interested in 48 probably a, oh, of course it's like i would have just gotten filled off which makes me think potentially to pull it up into 50 but i'm just gonna give it the extra how many for many points that is I'm interested in the order block at 52 as well. Is all I was trying to say there. Nice. One tick off. Love that. Oh, and again. Okay, that's twice. And that means we're going to run it. So move it up a little bit. Oh, we run it. All right. I'm fine with the rotation at 52. I 
I just didn't know if 52 was actually going to get traded or not. We did tap it, so that's good. A lot of times we, we front run it, um, but we did tap it. Love the idea of something like that. Love the idea of a return back to value or AI as well, but we might end up running. If we pop this, uh, no longer interested at 61, so. We're getting some buyers trying to step up into this move. It's possible that we grind it out, huh? Very possible. One minute put in some excess i like that i like the rejection off value area low on the current session um if we can roll it over and get into the 40s or potentially yesterday's value area high that would look really good to me not interested in retrading highs here personally Candle's closing out in uh, five seconds or so. This five minute candle. Retrading the prior open also looks pretty solid. Trading it right now. Getting below, it's very good. Okay, nice. And I'm out. Okay, just shy of uh, $400 on that trade. Um, so, total that's $387 per account. That's $7,740 on the date so far on two trades. So, just a nice rotation off of uh, the order block. Uh, I frame ran the order block a little bit by going off this prior swing low, but a great rotation off the order block into yesterday's value area high and just shy of IBL retest. So yeah, great trade off the order block, uh, great trade off value area low, great trade off the prior swing low, a lot of confluence there, right? Delta was a little sketchy, 250 cycle level as well. But other than that, I mean, very solid trade, uh, very happy about it, got no complaints. Uh, two trades and 7,740, I think is what I said, uh, on a Friday. $400 day trader. Yep, yep, yep. Call me what you will. Been a little bit of a bit on the internet these days, but hey, I'm fine with copy trading my 20 accounts and that being almost $8,000.